Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about uh, 8 important questions related to smoke testing. So I will be providing in detail explanation of smoke testing plus what are the various questions can be asked in interview. Also, I will be discussing as a 8 questions as part of this topic. The first question is what is smoke testing and can you provide few example? The smoke testing is nothing but it is also another type of testing. This testing will be done in the beginning of the any testing, especially once a developer builds the code and hand over to the testing team, that is where we will be testing the smoke testing as part of the build verification testing processes. Here, our main goal is to test only the critical functionality to see all the core functionalities are really working or not. If all the critical functions are working, then we will be accepting that build for further testing otherwise we will reject that build itself for taking for further testing that means smoke testing is going to help us to find out any show stoppers are there in the critical functionality or can we take that build for testing that is the validation we will be doing it in smoke testing some of the examples of smoke testing is in the netflix application the critical functionalities are sign in and playing a video that is a crucial part of the Netflix and that is the validation we are going to do it as part of smoke testing. Similarly, in Amazon, the critical functionalities are we should be able to list the product in the website or after listing it, then I should be able to select for adding into the cart. Then after that, I should be able to buying the product. These are the critical functionalities of Amazon where which we have to test uh, before accepting the build for further testing. Similarly, WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp, the critical functionality of the WhatsApp is send and receive messages. That is a crucial part. If, if a given build of WhatsApp, if sending and receiving message itself is not working, then what is the use of taking that build and testing it further? That is an example of WhatsApp. Similarly, for an ATM, in an ATM, the crucial part is I should be able to insert a credit card or debit card with a valid pin code after that I should be able to withdraw the money. We should include these test cases, critical functional test cases as part of smoke testing. The next question is what is smoke testing versus sanity testing. The smoke testing as we just discussed this is the initial part of the testing especially to verify critical functionalities are really working in a particular build or not. Then what is sanity testing? The sanity testing is also another form of smoke testing where we will be checking particular functionality to see whether I can take it up further testing on certain functionalities or not or I can take the testing into the further testing stages or not. That is a kind of testing we do it on sanity testing. Then what is the difference between a regression testing and a smoke testing? The smoke testing is to help to find out the stability of the software before we are doing the further testing. If the stability of the application is not there, stability of the software is not there, then what is the use of taking the build and testing it further? That is the one major difference and then the regression in the regression testing it is more of uh, checking the functionality, testing the functionality for the requirements which are changed or recently added. That is where we will be running the regression testing. The next question is how long should the smoke testing should take? The smoke testing should not take more than uh, 30 minutes or 60 minutes at maximum because we may get in a given day maybe I will get three builds or four builds in Amazon like big application they every minutes they will have a new build it will get deployed in the production environment it can have maximum of 10 to 20 test cases to run during this uh, period. The next question is can we automate smoke testing definitely it is a good idea to bring in automation because now these days we will have a continuous integration continuous deployment continuous automation running is happening uh, that is the recent trends are happening it is always good to automate the smoke testing so that the overall testing can be speed up uh, by using automating this smoke testing the sixth question is who can execute smoke testing the smoke test cases can be executed by even developer or even it can be executed by the developer as well then the seventh question is what are the benefits of smoke testing? 
because we are doing this testing when we receive the bill it is a good chances that we can find the issues in the early stages itself all the crucial showstopper issues we can find it out as early as possible and also whatever the issues we found out in the previous bill even those critical issues showstoppers are fixed or not that also we can validate it because of the smoke testing and the last important one is because we are able to catch the issues critical issues showstopper issues in the beginning of the testing itself because of that our testers efforts also will get saved so because of that the smoke test definitely adds an uh, added advantages for the tester to bring the effectiveness in their work the last important question is what are the best practices of smoke testing process or best practices we follow normally as part of the smoke testing the first thing is we should do is we should identify the critical functionality we tested in the first place we have to identify that then the second one is we have to identify the test cases related to critical area or key functionality of a total of not more than 10 to 20 test cases and these test cases should be able to execute in a minimal time maximum maybe 30 to 60 minutes not more than that and once these all these 10 to 20 test cases are created and we should form a test suite if it is automated it is well and good create a test suite and you have to keep running the smoke test regularly for every given build by the developer if there is a issues out of these builds then definitely developers will be fixing the issues and we have to keep repeating this overall smoke testing process regularly these are the eight important smoke testing interview questions we can get it in any manual testing or any testing uh, projects i am hoping uh, this video was very useful for you if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care